My name is Rihanna Harris. I'm going to be doing a monologue from King Henry V as King Henry. And I am going from Act 3, Scene 1, Lines 1 to 35. And I chose this play because I like the strength of the main character, which I'll be doing a monologue for. Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise her nature with hard favoured rage, and lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow be whammed as fearfully as doth a gold rock, overhang and jetty its confounded base, swilled with a wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide, all hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. On, on, you noble English, whose blood is fed from fathers of warproof, fathers that like so many Alexanders, having these partial mourns of the even fought, and sheath their swords from lack of argument. This on your, not your mothers, now attest that those whom you call fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood, and teach them how to war. And you, good yeomen, whose limbs were made in England, Show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the staff, the games of foot. Follow your spirit and upon this charge. Cry God for Harry, England and St. George.